the strange answer to this question is if you're trying to impress someone, don't try to impress them. I feel like I'm missing the mark when it comes to impressing these headlining acts. I went to a few festivals this season and I feel that I missed some crucial opportunities. What tips and tricks do you have for artists trying to network with the big names? You know, a lot of us have this misconception that when we are talking to these big name artists, we need to impress them. We need to tell them about all these cool accomplishments that we're doing. But really, if you want to leave an impression, if you want them to remember you, you're actually better likely at doing that if you ask them questions about themselves. And I'm going to tell you something that some people are going to think is a little weird, but some artists don't like talking about music. Some artists don't even like talking about the shows that they did. So sometimes you got to be real creative to find topics that they are really interested in. So if you do a little recon, you do your homework, you look at what these artists are posting ahead of time, you might Pick and choose some things that make the most sense to talk about leading up to these conversations. So one, don't try to network with these people or chat with them right before they're set. Maybe even not even right after they're set because a lot of people might be trying to talk to them and it can be really difficult to one, grab their attention, let alone have them hear you. If you can talk to them you know, a few hours before they're set or the next day, if it's at a music festival, that is ideal. You want to make sure you're asking them questions. So maybe you're starting off with, you know, how was your flight? Did you drive out here? Where were you last? Those are some great points in figuring out what's going on for them, where they were, and where you might want to drive that conversation. So say, if, for example, they were somewhere that you want to travel. Ask them, have you been there before? What was the highlight of that trip? Where would you recommend eating out there? You know, maybe they have like very specific dietary restrictions and they can only eat gluten-free, you know, plant-based foods. Maybe you want to ask them about some recommendations of where they like to go and how they like to make that work for them, especially if that's something that is similar to your dietary needs. Maybe you want to ask them about somewhere you saw they visited and it was in one of their Instagram stories. Ask them about that. Find some sort of topic or thing that excites them that they really want to dive into because they're going to remember those conversations because they're unlike all the other conversations going on where people are like, I love your set. Oh my God, it was so amazing. Which, don't get me wrong, people still love to hear that, but maybe get specific about why you enjoyed their set and how it made you feel and a particular mix that happened and what that meant to you. Those are the conversations people remember because they're not so generic, right? They're a little different or very different. And then they remember that person that had that conversation with them about that thing. And maybe you follow up with them later. Uh, maybe you're like, hey, thanks for recommending that coffee shop. It really was so wonderful. Um, you know, giving them recommendations if they are in the city for a few days after that uh, music festival or event. If they say, hey, I'm not flying home until this day, you might recommend, oh, you like coffee? Check out this place in my city. It is so wonderful. And let me know uh, if you want to go for dinner because I know this great vegan place or this great East Indian food uh, that I think you would dig. If they start asking you questions about yourself, which if they're you know, down for it and the vibe is going, they probably will, you know, don't maybe so quickly jump to talk about how wonderful you think you are. You know, if they ask you something about music that you've been working on or, you know, how your set went, yeah, sure. Like mention that maybe you sprinkle in there some uh, things that you're working on that you think they might be really into. I know for me, when I'm talking to people, um, they might ask me about, you know, the interview series that I have going on, or they might ask me about like, how are you getting content out there all the time? And that's a great opportunity to give, 
some advice on, you know, how I've been making that work and people remember conversations like that, but like, think about how you can add value for other people. Don't worry about them, you know, liking you because you said, Oh, I have this new release coming out or, you know, don't worry about that stuff. Worry about adding value. Worry about like just having quality conversations and maybe you're not vibing with that person anyways. Um, and that's totally fine too. Uh, if you don't have these conversations, you don't know. So I really recommend, you know, thinking about when you're talking to them, what you're talking to them about, ask them questions. Don't worry about impressing them. Just, you know, have a good conversation, make it different. I hope you found this video, uh, answered your question helpful. I know I have definitely been there. I've definitely felt like I, I just want to be like, Oh, you know, I'm teaching all these like great events, like notice me, but you don't have to do that. Um, and they probably, I, I gotta be honest with you. I've had conversations with people where I just felt like they were bragging instead of sharing and it just made the conversation feel icky um which made me think about the conversations that i'm having with people and how others might be perceiving that how it's coming across so keep that in mind um i and yeah for the rest of y'all if you have any questions for me make sure you get at me on social uh kimlin music <laughs> well try to answer those questions for you.